Hi everybody! Thanks for coming back on my channel today. I have a very exciting video for me to do for you today. Um, I am a lipstick junkie. I'm addicted, I'm obsessed. I don't think that there's two days in a row where I have the same colored lips. I love them. I love them and they love me. <laughs> so today I wanted to do a video for you guys that is my top six lipsticks. I tried to do five and I couldn't cut one. <laughs> so let's jump in and get to it. Okay, so the first lipstick that I have for you today is at the lower end of the price scale. It is L'Oreal's Ferris Nude. I wear Ferris Nude all year round. It is just the best. You can see how much I've indented it. <laughs> um, I am kind of, I think I'm halfway through it and it's been a, over a year of me having it. So that just tells you how much you get in the package. It's a nice little gold tube. Blech. It's okay packaging. There's better packaging that I have to show you. Um, but like I said, it's at the lower end of the price scale. I think this is about $12 Canadian at Shoppers. So go check out Ferris Nude. I'm going to work my way from most neutral and lightest all the way to my most dramatic and darkest. So next I have this little baby. It's called Julianne's Nude. It is from the Collection Privé. Yeah, Collection Privé. Um, this is also by L'Oreal, but look at the packaging, stepping it up L'Oreal, I like, it's a matte black with the same little gold in the middle. Um, this color was created by Julianne Huff when they did a line with a bunch of celebrities and this was her nude. JLo also had a nude, which is actually Ferris nude, so I don't know if I'm convinced that JLo was present, but this color is so beautiful, it's such a great everyday pink. Um, it does look lighter on camera from what I'm seeing right now, um, but in real life, beautiful, it goes with any and every outfit. I can, I've worn this out at night, and I've also worn it to go groceries. So, there you go. Next is the color that I'm wearing, and I believe, yeah, this is my most expensive lipstick that I own in all my collection, I think, actually. Yep, it's the most expensive. <laughs> um, but, it's so... Nice. It deserves to be as expensive as it is. I talked about this in a favorites video of mine, I believe. Um, it is by Bite Beauty. It is the, in the shade Grenache. It's what I'm wearing right now. It's a beautiful, beautiful purple color. Definitely some like magenta and pink in it, but I definitely would describe it as purple. I'm wearing it with my sassy outfit today, my Yonsei necklace and my nacho wifey. Machos, I'm machos, I'm not. Mm. And <laughs> this lipstick is about $30, which is so obnoxious, and I don't go out and do that all the time. It was a treat to myself during the summer, um, but it's so good. It's so good. They are the most creamy lipsticks I have ever used. I, I don't know anything else like it on the market. Um, there's a bunch of other YouTubers who would tell you the same thing, and they're phenomenal. I wanted to get one of their matte lip crayons the other day, and there wasn't a single shade left, and all the testers had been stolen, so that just tells you how awesome this company's formulas are. So if you're looking for a fun lipstick that you know will last you and be amazing quality, go look at Bite at Sephora. Next, I have the only MAC lipstick that I own in my entire collection, and that is saying something because I have a lot of lip products. Um, I don't want to give in to the MAC cult. That's basically it. I have a few MAC products that are my tried and true fantastic products. Other than that, I want to try the fun brands. I don't want this whole black and silver packaging everywhere. It's boring, and I can get the same products, if not better, in other brands too. So. That's my spiel on MAC. Um, but I do have one lipstick from them, and it has made my top six lipsticks, so there you go. Um, this is Girl About Town by MAC. First of all, the name, Girl About Town. I'm about it. Um, it is a beautiful, beautiful magenta pink, bright pink color. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Um, it is from the Amplified collection, so I really like the finish on it. I'm not so much of a matte person because it freaks me out how dry my lips get and how I can just be like and not feel anything. I don't like that. Um, so I really like the finish on the Amplified collection. So if you like a bit more of a creamy 
um, softer finish to your lipsticks. Definitely look at those ones if you're going to go in. Um, but this hot pink just works for me at, during all seasons. In the winter and fall, it's a bit more like fun, playful, a lighter pink for that kind of whole spectrum of colors. But then during the spring and summer, it's like a boom. I love it. It's the best. My fifth lipstick, not my fifth favorite, I'm not going to rank them because they're all so different, um, is Euphoria by CoverGirl. I have had this one for definitely an entire year now because I got it last fall. Um, I got it, then my roommate got it, and my roommate's mom got it, and my friend of a friend got it, and anyways, apparently I'm the new promoter for Euphoria by CoverGirl because it's just the bomb.com. It is so pretty. It's a beautiful, dark, berry color. It's definitely a good one. It's a color that is just still extremely in this year for fall and winter. Definitely think you should check it out. It is, I think, 10 or $12 again because it's covered rot shoppers. So even if you wear it once a week or once every two weeks, doesn't even matter. <laughs> My last lipstick for this video is Bordeaux by Rimmel. This is definitely the darkest lipstick I own. It's phenomenal. It is not matte, <laughs> um, but it's a very dark wine color. Duh. It's a really dark, whiny red color. I absolutely love it. <clears throat> Do not get this lipstick unless you're going to use a lip liner with it. You're going to be a hot mess by the end of the day if you don't have one. It's going to bleed and ugh, it's not going to be cute. So definitely invest in a lip liner. I use this one underneath the underneath Bordeaux. This is Sophisticated by CoverGirl. I believe I use this in my fall makeup tutorial. I use it under probably three or four different lipsticks that I own. So invest in a lip liner. It's going to make all of your lipsticks look so much better and last you throughout the day. You have to have less applications in between drinks and it's gonna look great <laughs> so I definitely recommend going to get some lipsticks but yes this is my last and final favorite lipstick <laughs> definitely go check this one out especially right now for fall and winter all right guys that concludes the end of the video I hope you guys really enjoyed it Please let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any of these lipsticks, if you want to try these lipsticks, if you add any of them to your shopping list. Is Thanksgiving gifts a thing? Let me know if you get one to give someone else. Give to, yeah. Let me know if you get one to give someone else. <laughs> I hope you guys all have a great day and that you have a great Canadian Thanksgiving. And if you're watching from America, I hope that you have a good turkey next month. Mm, sorry. <laughs> Take care, guys, and thanks for watching. And please hit the subscribe button down below. Bye, guys. Every time you have to do a retake drink. Oh my god. I just found this video fun. Fun? I think it's fun. That concludes this video. I really hope that you guys enjoy. <laughs> we don't get text all day and then I do now. <laughs> it's my dad. Cup number 33. Mm.